For two basketball players on the UTRGV men's basketball team, their stories are quite similar. They are both legacy kids. For Jordan Jackson, his mother is six-time WNBA All-Star and four-time WNBA champion Cheryl Swoops. For Xavier McDaniel Jr., well, his name says it all, as his father went on to have a 13-year NBA career, making an All-Star appearance in 1988. You know, I've been around the game my whole life. Uh, my mom being who she is, uh, it's not, she doesn't really need an explanation. You know, just, just being, you know, being a young kid, born in Lubbock, Texas, just watching her, you know, her games and her work ethic and her attitude towards the game of basketball really just pushed me to, you know, become something that I never thought that I could be. You know, I thought that, of course, you know, I was going to play basketball, but I never thought that I would be um, wanting to get a Division One scholarship or go play anywhere. You know, I got introduced at a pretty young age. My dad used to have this little um, plastic goal when I was like three. I used to play on that a lot. Um, and it was pretty cool coming up. People knew who my dad was. I didn't really realize how really big it was until I got older, but uh, it was pretty cool. Best thing, oh, you can just say like, oh yeah, my dad was at the top, you know. He was one of the best at, at one point, so that's always pretty cool. The worst, I mean, it's not even that bad at this point. I've gotten used to it, but just going to places and then heckling me about my dad and stuff, you know, I've gotten used to it at this point. The best thing about having her as my mom is that guidance and that, uh, that person that I can go to about the game of basketball and just having her in my corner, you know. Um, the worst thing is that you know, me being her son, everything that I do is in a spotlight, from social media to interviews to just going to the store, you know, certain things like that. If, you know, you can't, you can't act the same way as everybody else would act, you know what I mean? So being in that spotlight is kind of, you know, it's kind of stressful at times, but I'm a regular 20-year-old, you know, I live my life just like everybody else does. Every game, he has something to say to me. It's always something new every game, um, something I can always improve on, whether that be, you know, out shooting so many threes or, you know, just tips on defense to help me out. He pretty much watches almost every game. He's barely missed any. So there's always something that I can improve on. You know, with her, she, she pushes me to my limit and she's always calling me after my games, before my games, telling me what I need to do and telling me what I need to be better after the games. With her, it's a really great support system. Everybody always says, oh, well, you're the son of Cheryl Swoops, like you have to be this, this and that. And when I was hearing that, I was at a young age, you know, you, you, start, to, you, you start to listen to that stuff and you try to do that stuff, you know, to, to prove everybody wrong. And that was a mistake that people make is, you know, listening to the critics and the outside. But when, when she would talk to me, she'd say, just be you. You know, everything will work out for itself. So, of course, the pressure came with it, especially with me going to Texas Tech first, her alma mater, where she went. But moving on from that, now it's just Jordan Jackson, you know, being able to be me and making my own spotlight for myself. Who am I? Really, the only thing I want to be remembered as someone who just gave it his all every game. Just put it all out there, you know? I said, yeah, I'm passionate about what I do. I like to think of myself as kind of a soldier. You know, you tell me to do something, I'm gonna go do it. If I just go out there and give my all, everything should just work out on its own. You know, we focus on ourselves, uh, you know, bettering ourselves, not our parents or not, our, you know, our parents' legacies because obviously that's not our legacies, you know? So people want us to be our parents or be like our parents, but you know, that's not what God has in store for us and that's not what we have in store for ourselves. So we try not to really touch on that subject because you tend to, when you touch on that subject, you tend to look at it and be like, okay, well, I have to do this. And you know, that's not something you want to do. You know, we actually joke about that all the time. We don't put much pressure on ourselves, but I mean, why not reach for further, you know? Why not try and go further? That's the way I see it. I want them to mention Jordan Jackson and know exactly who that is and not worry about, oh, that's Cheryl Swoop's son. Of course, it's a great thing to be Cheryl Swoop's son. You know, I'm not taking anything away from that. But, you know, it comes a time where, you know, you want your, you know, you want your name to be out there as well. And you want your name to be big and you want, you know, you want your own legacy behind you. And, you know, when people come to UTRGV, they'll be like, oh, well, you know, Jordan Jackson went here. You know, I don't want them to come here and be like, oh, Cheryl Swoop's son went here, you know what I mean? This year, we've just grown so much as a team. So you're immediately gonna notice a change in culture. There's no losing mentality anymore. Everyone's expecting to win now. So that's always a plus. 
This team right here is just, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this team. This team is very family oriented from all the way from the coaching staff to the players. You know, we, we look out for each other, we call each other our brothers, and we don't just say that, but we mean it. You know, looking forward, uh, the rest of the season is gonna be something special. We're turning this program around, and you know, like I said, I'm happy to be a part of it.